I'm Dr. Ronaldo Menezes, an associate professor in computer science at Florida Tech. I've been at Florida Tech for about 10 years, and my lab focuses on work on biological inspired computing. Uh, the work you're about to see today relates to looking at behavior of ants as an inspiration for solving problems of terrain coverage. The problem of terrain coverage is very common. Sometimes you want to find someone that is lost in a building or find a bomb in a terrain or in Iraq or in a war situation. So ants are able to find food very easily and what we try to do is to look at how they can do that and then apply that to a real problem that can better our lives. Ants are ubiquitous to our world. Most of us have observed them on our yards or eating our food and unfortunately we tend to consider them a pest, a menace to our comfort. What few realize is that their existence is fundamental to our well-being. As an example, they make sure our land is proper for cultivation. Ants are also very successful as a species and have been around for around 100 million years. And the weight of all the ants in the world is believed to surpass the total weight of humans. The message here is that they have been around for longer than us and have many things to teach us. What you see in this video is a simulation of ants moving around. In fact, there are two separate behaviors being simulated, but to the untrained eye, they are virtually indistinguishable. The simulation is done based on mathematical models that describe the movement of ants. In our work, we see more than the previous video. We see patterns being formed out of their movement. Patterns related to the number of times a location is visited, total time since a location has been visited last, number of times locations are visited after being visited for the first time, and the information left by ants on the ground in the form of pheromones, which is something like a scent. Yet, these patterns, although visually interesting, still reveal little about what we want to capture. The behavior of ants can be used in a problem we call terrain coverage, which consists of covering a predefined area efficiently, as quickly as possible, or as uniformly as possible. By keeping track of the patterns formed in the previous video, we are able to solve real problems such as the one in this video. Here, ants are programmed to try to avoid locations where other ants have been already, the right-hand side of the video. The result is stunning because the simple rule yields a much better result to the solution of the coverage problem. On the left, you see ants moving randomly, while on the right, you see ants behaving according to our approach. One can clearly see by the patterns in this video that the ants on the right-hand side are more efficient finding locations that have not been visited independently of where they start, center or corners. In the video, darker colors represent a larger number of visits to that location. Even more interesting is that the same behavior works well in environments that contain obstacles. Here, we see ants starting at the center and in one corner, but in both cases, our approach is able to find locations that have not been visited more efficiently. To make the application here even clearer, imagine you have an object or a person you need to find in this environment. The right-hand side approach, developed in our lab, is likely to find this object or person much sooner than the approach on the left-hand side, independently of the location where the object person is placed. What I hope with this showing is that you can realize that nature has a lot to teach us. Even simple organisms like ants, bees, can tell us how to solve real problems and better our lives.